Hello everyone, my name is Quinn and thank you so much for joining me in this video. I know with everything going on with the current crisis, people are kind of scrambling to find a face mask. Medical grade face masks are in limited supply and they should be reserved for health workers and people on the front line. Recently, the CDC made a recommendation that everyone going out in public should be wearing face masks, which I totally agree because it really does help reduce the risk of the spread of the virus. With that said though, so even homemade cloth face masks are really hard to come by nowadays if you uh, are not making it on your own. Even people who can make them are not able to get the enough supplies to make enough face masks for the demand right now. So I've been looking up different ways to make face masks. Some of these tutorials are very technical and a lot of times people don't have sewing supplies, people don't have sewing machines, and you also don't wanna be ordering these kind of things because all of the supplies for sewing are very limited and they're taking a very long time to show up. So I figured instead of doing like a uh, sewing tutorial for a face mask. In this video, I would do uh, a few no-sew face mask tutorials for you guys to put together in case of emergency or to just hold you over until you are able to get a face mask or make one. So these are just very, very quick tutorials of things that you probably already have in your house so you don't have to go out and run to the store to get the supplies for the mask in this video. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please consider hitting that subscribe button uh, so you can see See more videos like this. All right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these DIY no sew face mask tutorials. Okay, so for mask number one, you will need a bandana and you will also need a couple of hair ties. If you want, if you don't have the hair ties, you can use string, shoelaces, yarn, really anything that you have on hand. This is a drawstring from one of my sweatshirts that came out in the wash. I'll show you two different options you can go with. Okay, so to start, you want to lay your bandana or piece of fabric nice side down, and you want to fold this horizontally, leaving enough thickness to cover the bottom half of your face. So for me, I ended up folding this in half and then in two thirds. Then you wanna take your two elastics and loop them in onto each end. You want the distance between the hair ties to be roughly the distance between your left and right ear, leaving about half an inch to an inch before each ear. Pretty much you want to just measure from ear to ear. So that's a little bit long. And that's a good size for me. Then I'm going to take this, I'm gonna fold it over. I'm gonna take the other side fold it over as well and then I'm just gonna tuck this in to kind of clean it up a little bit so now you have this you want to be really really careful though because this is a no sew tutorial and this isn't secured what you can do is you can take safety pins and you can pin onto like just outside of the elastics right here and you can pin those down that way it can be a little bit more secure but that is pretty much it here is the outside of the mask this is the inside of the mask. So now I can take the mask and very carefully loop it onto one ear at a time. And there you go. So the second way to do this, if you don't have the hair ties, you can use string instead. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna fold again my fabric in half and then in thirds, and you can fold yours whichever way works for you. So now, if you want, you can fold this in half and you can cut it. And if you do cut it, then you wanna take one strand and you wanna like put one there and then the other strand you put over here and then you fold it over like so. So you have another strand right here. I'm not gonna cut mine because I wanna save my string. So what I'm gonna do is put my string kind of like in this U shape. Just like before, measuring from one ear to the other and then you're going to fold that over, fold that over, tuck it in. So this is gonna go around your head and then you can tighten it and then tie it behind your head like so. You wanna take your mask with the loop side up and then the strings on the bottom. Then you wanna place it over your mouth, take the loop, put it on top of your head and then pull down with the string. And I think it's easier to kind of pop your head down like this 
pull and then bring it up and tie it. And then you can just adjust as needed. So you see this actually is really secure and it stays on really well. So this way, it is definitely a lot harder to put on and take off since you have to deal with like tying and stuff. But I feel like this one is much more secure than using the um, hair ties. But my point is that there are two different ways for you to pretty much use uh, household items. You can cut up a t-shirt if you really need to. If you don't have um, a bandana, you can use a pillowcase, an old pillowcase. So pretty much you can use anything around the house to make yourself a mask with this technique. Okay, so for this next tutorial, you're going to need a paper towel. This is a shop towel that I stole from my fiance's garage and then you'll need two rubber bands if you don't have rubber bands you can use two hair ties if you want and if you don't have that you can definitely use like some string if you really need to and then lastly you will also need a stapler again if you don't have a stapler you can use safety pens so this is also very very versatile and so pretty much what you want to do is you want to take your paper towel and you want to fold it kind of like accordion style back and forth. And then you wanna take your rubber bands and put them in about there. You wanna fold this part over the rubber band like so, and then take your stapler and you're going to staple just outside of the rubber band. Like so. And then you're gonna repeat that on the other side. You wanna make sure that the rubber band is inside and that is pretty much it. And then what you can do is you can open the mask up like so and that is your mask. That is really, really quick to put together. So I'm gonna show you how to put it on right now. All right, so the third DIY no sew mask is this really neat disposable one-time use mask that you can make. So I'm gonna take this mask Put it around my nose and mouth. Take the elastic, put it around my ear. And then just adjust for comfort. That's pretty much it. I really, really like this tutorial because I like that this is made out of something that can be disposed. Um, you can also take a bandana or something and you know wrap it around. So you could do that also, but the mask will have two layers of protection. So that's another way that you can wear this. I think this mask is actually fine on its own. You can double up the paper towels if you want it and add an extra layer of protection. But overall, this one I actually really like. It is very easy to breathe. Um, it's actually very comfortable. This is something that I have not seen very much online. So props to survival know-how for showing me how to do this. <laughs> All right, so for this next tutorial, you will need an old t-shirt that you're willing to part with and a pair of scissors, and that will be pretty much it. Start by laying out the t-shirt as flat as possible, and then you're going to want to cut off the hem at the bottom of the t-shirt. From there, you want to cut off a one-inch strip from the bottom of the t-shirt. This is going to serve as the drawstring for the mask. Next, you want to measure the distance between the bridge of your nose to just underneath your chin and cut out that width from the bottom of the t-shirt. Mine was about 8 inches. And then for the length of your mask, you want to measure the distance from your left ear to your right ear. Mine was about 9 inches, but I'm using a men's shirt, so I can actually get two masks out of this material. So I decided to cut my fabric in half since there are two layers here. And then after I separated the top and bottom pieces of fabric, I folded one in half to create two layers. But looking back on it, you honestly could just measure out the distance you need and then cut it from there since it's already two layers. So I just overcomplicated things. <laughs> So as you guys can see here, I ended up leaving my length at 10 and a quarter inches. Instead of cutting it to fit my face, which is 9 inches, I highly recommend not doing this because mine ended up being too big. So moving on, you want to take that strip that we cut off earlier, and then you want to just cut that to create one long strip instead of a loop. And since we are using a t-shirt material, we can just 
pull on the fabric like so and it's going to stretch the fabric out and that's going to create this long thin stretchy cord that we can use for the straps for our mask now what i want to do is create little holes along the outside edges of this mask so that i can thread the cord through them I ended up going with five holes on each side and I'm just folding the fabric over and making my slits about half an inch away from the edges. So there you go. I have one, two, three, four, five notches. So now I'm gonna take the string that I made with the bottom of the shirt. This is one long string. I'm gonna fold it in half. Take the loop side, I'm gonna place it above the shirt material. And then the ends, I'm going to thread into these holes and kind of do them in and out. So in through the top, up through the bottom. So you have it like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. And that is pretty much your mask. Now you can cinch it together like so. And that is how your mask will fit. All right, so I have the fourth DIY no sew mask. What you wanna do is try to cinch this up and then do the same thing on the other side because that's gonna help you put the mask on. So you wanna try to get the sides accordion style cinch like that. And then you wanna take the loop from top and place that over your head and then take the mask and adjust it onto your face and then with the ends you want to just tighten and then tie it from the back you can fold over the top if you want to make it a little bit cleaner kind of just tuck in the ends and then down here you can tuck it in if you want and that will make it fit a little bit nicer but yeah that is it pretty nice you can add a paper towel in the middle if you want to add an extra layer of filtration but this one is pretty easy no so it fits it's pretty comfy it's soft all right guys well that is pretty much it for this diy no so face mask tutorials video uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the different types of masks you can make with um, household items. I'm gonna link all of the videos, all of the resources I used to get inspiration for this video in the description below. And a lot of these are not my own design. I did not come up with these myself. Well, that is it guys. I hope you guys stay healthy and safe during this time. I know it's just a really, really chaotic time right now, but we are going to get through this slowly but surely. Um, I would like to sincerely thank you guys for watching this video. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I would love to know how things are going for you. I would love to know all that in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.